Yo, it is Blackboard CJ. We're back with another video, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, we are continuing where we left off as we successfully retain our World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. Now, we go up against Batista and Randy Orton. Well, in these next two episodes. But in this episode, we take on the animal Batista. Now, if we happen to lose to Batista, he gets his number one contender map. He gets his shot at me for the World Heavyweight Championship at No Way Out. But, but, if Batista lose, Randy Orton will have his chances of beating me to get his shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Both seem very unlikely to happen for both of them. So, worst case scenario, triple threat between the Evolution Brothers. Um, I'm trying to max out charisma, but I don't have enough yet, so I'll just... Wait, and I'll max that out. But yeah, if you guys do the channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And most likely today will be raised for the highest one along with some reactions. And also, again, like I said last video, if you guys are interested in an in NFL 2K5 series, let me know. But without further ado, here we go. This is Michael Cole, and on behalf of Taz and myself, we welcome you to SmackDown. And here comes the man who hopes to become number one contender for the World Heavyweight Title tonight, the Animal Batista. And Batista's no stranger to the World Heavyweight title. Remember, he's the guy who brought it to SmackDown from Raw. And from the looks of him, ha, I'd say he's ready to get it back right here, right now. I love this insurance. Ah, uh, he pressed it. Now, nah, well, Batista look a little more. He look, he look, he look, I don't know a lot. He look kind of big. He look kind of big. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He look kind of big. You think you know me? Even though this is a non-title match, the champion looks focused and intense. Taz. Damn yeah, right. right. Every match when you're the champ. Take it from me. You gotta be on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you wanna hold on to that time. Hey, Roman can never. Ha! Roman can never. Roman can never. Niggas on for three hours, we don't see him for the next two months. Fuck out of here, bro. This is your this is the real world champion. Yeah, none of that phony Roman shit. Fuck your tribal chief. I'm your tribal chief, nigga. I'm gonna consistently fuck out of here. This is what a real world champion look like. Yes, sir. All right, Dave. Let's do this. Oh man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Cole. No, I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying? The city of Brooklyn might have been the hometown of the W. But I think the SmackDown superstars. What the fuck, nigga, 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 nigga? I did one move, nigga. I did one move. I did one move. I did one move. I did one move. We're already going to a cutscene. He kicked out too. What the fuck? One move. One move is crazy. Nigga said fuck that. Nigga said fuck that. You need me, yo, bro. Rainer about to come out of nowhere, ain't he? He about to RKO Dave. He's gonna RKO Dave. He's gonna RKO Dave. And Rainer you are still ain't forget what the fuck happened. Well, basically two years ago in this game. Well, three, because it's 2007 in this game. Well, because we did a whole year in 2007, but still. What the fuck? One move is crazy. Woo! What the hell is Randy I knew it! Out here? He's not scheduled for a I knew Randy. I knew Randy was going to show up. Oh, my God! Oh, just pasted the ref with a chair. So much for the ref. <laughs> I didn't like him anyway. Batista doesn't look happy about this, Taz. This was supposed to be Batista's number one contender match. If you can't hate Randy, though. No. You can't hate Randy. You can't hate Randy. You can't hate Randy. This thing is out. Every reason to ensure that Batista didn't win this match tonight, in order to ensure yeah. that he'll get his own hey, number one hey. contender match next week. Hey, one of the greatest seals of all time. If you ask me. Hey, he's one of the greatest seals of all time for a reason. <laughs> Nigga hit the referee that with the chair. I'm fucking weak. Nigga said, nah, fuck that, Dave. Remember, you know, the old thumbs up, thumbs down shit for Evolution? Remember you backdrop me after I won the world title? Nah, fuck that. I'm still on that shit. Nigga, Randy, you're still holding that grudge. Rightfully so, though. Rightfully so, them niggas did him dirty. Just saying. 
And also, but Tanner Cowley, I know I might get hate for this, but <clears throat> he was the best member in that group. Let's keep it above. We all know Triple H was the top dog, but overall, looking back at it, the best member of that group was Randy Orton. What? Out of all four members of Evolution, Randy Orton was the best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. Triple H, Randy first, Triple H second, Batista third. I'm sorry, Rick. You were way past your time. You were way past your time by then. Rick Flair, you were way past your time by then, my brother. You was way past your time. You was way past your time by then, my brother. I, I gotta keep it up on with you. For the four horsemen, that goes to Rick. For the four horsemen, that goes to Rick. Long names, what the fuck? What? He lost the match. As seen on SmackDown last week, the non-title contender match between Batista and World Heavyweight Champion Cole Keon ended in no contest following Randy Orton's attack on the referee. Orton ha was to have a number one contender match of his own this week if Batista lost. And it is, it is widely believed his interference was an attempt to ensure that he would have his number one contender match by sabotaging Batista. But Orton's scheme might have backfired on him. If that was Orton's plan, I've got bad news for him says SmackDown Teddy Smack the general major theater along. As a result of his interference last week, I am removing the number one contender stipulation from Randy Orton from Randy Orton's match against Cole Keon tonight. Furthermore, I'm naming Batista the number one contender at no way out. There's no way actions there's no way actions like those of Randy Orton will be will ever be rewarded oh, will ever be rewarded as long as I am SmackDown General Manager. Oh no. Teddy, Teddy, you never should have said those words. This is Randy Orton we're talking to. Nigga, well, RKO was on, you literally said he was on grandmother. His words, not mine. Oh. What's up, champ? Teddy Long just told me that I've lost my chance to become the number one contender tonight in my match against you. He said it was because of what I did to that referee last week. But come on. I know you must have been pulling strings behind the scenes. I don't blame you for not wanting to face me at No Way Out. Nigga, so what? two months between now and WrestleMania. You can only run from me for so long, and I guarantee you that the legend killer is going to be in the WrestleMania main event, one way or another. Randy, Randy, you're forgetting you were the one who taught me to be this fucking sneaky. Do you really want this to come back and haunt you? Actually, you, Eddie, and Edge taught me how to be very sneaky, but... Yeah, no. Randy, no. I know your every move. Who's a knight now? I know your every move, Randy. I know every every move you're gonna make. I know you, my nigga. I know you too well, bro. Well, guess we're facing Gordon this episode. All right, let's 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 do this, cause we're not gonna we niggas didn't even do a full match. Just fucking Randy Orton came out and just got fucking hit the referee and had him with a chair. This was supposed to have been a number one contender match for Randy Orton tonight, Taz, but his behavior last week caused Teddy Long to name Batista the number one contender. That was most my interest, you know. Yeah, Orton crossed the line last week, no doubt. But I wonder if the champ had anything to do with this. But maybe. Just maybe he doesn't want to I just fought the Undertaker, Chris Benoit, and Rey Mysterio at the same fucking time. I'm not scared of no one. What the fuck? I had to fight the Undertaker. I had to fight Chris Benoit, and I had to fight Ray. I had to fight the Big Show. I had to deal with Trish Stratus screwing me with Chris Masters. I've been through hell this entire series, so don't ever, ever test me saying that I'm scared to face anyone for my title. Okay, Taz. We both from New York here, so you understand the level of anger that I have right now. The, the fact that he even said that, I feel disrespected. No! No, I'm not intimidated by anyone. And also, I did the one thing Randy Orton didn't do. And that's with The Undertaker and Batista. Both of them niggas didn't do that shit. Oh, actually, Randy Orton did at SummerSlam 2005, I believe. Yes, SummerSlam 2005, Randy Orton did. The number one we won. Gotta be at WrestleMania if I take the cow because Batista and Orton both beat The Undertaker. Did I get the point? Oh, 
I get the point. Fun fact, when I first got this game, I played season mode for a little bit, and I was controlling Randy or crazy, and the action hasn't even started yet. You don't a 90 now, Randy. Hey, Randy. No question. Nigga said I'm scared of you. No, no, nigga. Not even 090. Okay, 090 was different. 090 was different. Oh, you and 090 was different. You and 090 was different. My by far my favorite Randy. Oh no, favorite Randy. That nigga did not give a fuck, bro. That nigga RK, that nigga DDT Stephanie and kissed her in front of Triple A. That nigga was handcuffed. Nigga punched the shot of Vince. Everyone wants to do that shit to him. Being first came back and shit. But Randy, you should have never tested the fact. You should have never said I was scared of you, bro. You fucked up by saying that shit. You fucked up by saying that shit, my brother. Like, I, I I didn't want to have to do you like that. Like, I, I don't have to do you dirty. Like, I'm gonna have to do you dirty. You know that, right, Randy? You know that? But look, I know you have three simple letters, RK, yo, but I have one simple move. Hey, you should lose it. Thank you. See, I know most second is gonna be broke because you know you, you're not okay, fucking well, Ray Mysterio. Well, actually, no, I can't see Ray. Yeah, exactly I figured. Yeah, I figured. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Wee! <laughs> oh wow. We're broke. All right, that's cool. Bitch, bitch, bitch. There you go. Randy, again, you fucked up. You fucked up. You know that, right? You fucked up. If you got, if you, again, if you wanted to face me, you really should have just let me beat the season. I was going to beat him regardless. I was going to beat him regardless. I didn't need you to hit him with the referee in the fucking head of the chair. I didn't need that. I didn't need that, bro. All you had to do, all you had to do was wait. Wait your turn. Like everyone else in this line. Everyone has been after my title, so I'm fucking with the every time the WWE title from Kurt Angle, niggas been after me. Bro. So the fact that you're after me is just something I'm already used to. Bro. Not intimidated. I'm not scared. I'm just coming off a big W at the Royal Rumble. So why would I be? Why would I be? The chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But All that's right. easier said than done. There's one. Oh, that's the second one, but it's one. Man, it, I'll tell you what, Gotta have another one? I know I have another one. I know I have another one. Get up, Randy. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. Go to the side of the ring. Go to right here. Come on. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. That's an understatement. And a third. Yeah, Randy, you never should have tested me, bro. You know it's all love, but you never should have tested me, bro. You never should have tested my gangster. Number one, two, three. That nigga's gonna learn to not fuck with me. Stop trying to fuck with me. It is not going to work. Okay? I don't care if you're a big red machine, a legend killer, an animal, a dead man, a literal dead man. One six one nine. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm not scared of y'all niggas. I don't care if you're a masterpiece, a seven hundred pound, five a seven foot, five hundred pound nigga named the Big Show. I'm not fucking intimidated by y'all niggas. Stop trying to fucking intimidate me. It's not gonna work. It's over. I'm your World Heavyweight Champion. I'm gonna go into WrestleMania as World Heavyweight Champion. I'm going to walk out of WrestleMania World Heavyweight Champion. And you guys who can will do nothing about it. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Thank you. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. I know it, you bitch. Uh, 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 Oh no 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 no! I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! No no no! I don't like this! I knew it! I knew it! Evolution Brothers! Evolution Brothers! Motherfucker! Evolution Brothers! Wow! It was a hoax! It was a hoax! It was a hoax! Evolution Brothers!
Evolution Brothers. Unbelievable. Really? Really? Wow! Wow! I knew it. I knew it. No. No, no, it's not. He's gonna Batista bomb me. He's gonna Batista bomb me. He's gonna Batista bomb me. No, he's gonna he's gonna Batista bomb me. Nigga, he nigga, nah, nah. That nigga watch you get RKO'd. That nigga watch me get RKO'd. I'm getting set up. I'm getting set up. It's a setup. It's a setup. It's a setup. Why do y'all niggas always gotta set me up to to fucking get an advantage of me? That niggas always gotta set me up. Nah, no, no, no. No, no. I re I I genuinely refuse. I'm being set up here. I'm clearly being set up here. It's a setup. It's a setup. The way how Batista didn't even first off after call first of all by technicality he calls to a shot at the technicality he did it because he ended up winning it. He ended up getting shot, but nigga took mad long to get to the ring. Nigga watched him hit the RKO on me, bro. It's a fucking setup, bro. These niggas are setting me up, bro. Why do y'all niggas love y'all niggas love setting me up in this game? Don't y'all. That's it for today's video. Like, comment, subscribe, go to the channel. And I'm Black with CJ. I'm out. Peace. Niggas is still testing me, bro.